Rishi Sunak, how dare you suggest that the singers, artists, poets, and the very people that use their naughty poking words to hold bell ends like you to account, how dare you suggest we retrace? Working in the tattoo industry is hard. discriminating a lot. <laughs> um, funnily enough, um, it only ever started when I got my neck and hands done. And I think that's still this very old view mentality that if you have your visible tattoos, you're not as trustworthy. Times are changing, our generation are getting tattooed a lot more, but in the workplace, there's still a lot of discrimination against that um, when it comes to, but I've always been of the mindset, like. I'm never going to work a job where I can't be myself. Um, I'm not going to change myself for a minimum wage retail job. I'm just not doing it. So if you're going to discriminate against me um, for the way I look and choose to look, then I just wouldn't work there. Old people look at tattoos and think, thug. <laughs> um, like maybe they'll be like, oh, I'm not going to trust that person because of it. I don't know why. I am Celia. I am also known as the Black Rabbit. Um, I tattoo at the studio at Oswald Street, Glasgow. Hi, I'm Becca. Uh, I'm a tattoo apprentice at the studio in Glasgow. Um, I've been tattooing now for, I think, a year and a half. My name is Chloe. I'm a tattoo apprentice at the studio. Uh, it's in Glasgow and my Instagram is Zipper Blues Tattoo. I have two favourites. My all-time favourite is on my leg. I have a big wolf head that I got for my 21st birthday and it's just, I just think it's the best thing going. But my other favourite is I have a very small, dumb tattoo on my ankle that says Me Want Ohio and it's from Love, Death and Robots on Netflix and I love it. I do have a favourite tattoo, even though I'm going to get it covered up, just because to continue my arm I need to get it covered up, but I am going to get it somewhere else on me in the future. Um, it's just a wee tiny clapperboard and I got it during college along with like all the rest of the class, you know, like a friend, college, group data. What would be my favourite? One I get the most compliments on is probably this guy, um, The Hand and the Heart. That was by an artist called Alex Underwood, works in Glasgow. Um, but I think my favourite for myself, I've got my whole belly done, um, well it's kind of in, in progress. Um, I'm going to be getting like my whole back done by the same guy, um, a guy called Jack Pepiet that does amazing like ornamental black work um, and that was like quite an experience for me like going to that studio and like meeting him in person, someone that I admire. My preferred style is anything nerdy, anything geeky, I love gaming, I love comic books, I love manga and anime. Um, so I flip-flop between doing only black work, which is my manga panels, and doing big colour gaming designs. It really just depends on what mood I'm in, what my client's mood, mood is, what they prefer. But I like the constant challenge of so like diverse media where one day you'll be doing something semi-realistic and the next day you'll be doing an old traditional comic book. It's so much fun and you meet so many different people. What's your style of tattooing in the current audience of clients? Big goths. <laughs> no, um, I do a lot of like black black work stuff. Um, I do a tiny bit of colour in my work. Um, just like little, now and again, not full colour pieces, but I like putting a little bit of red in it, a little splash of colour. Um, but my personal style that I do is black work, black and grey, kind of illustrative, um, just dark, kind of spooky stuff, like things that I would like on myself. I'm focused on realism tattoos, um, that's probably what I'd want to do. I would want to do a bit of everything really, which is possible, but main focus, realism, 
I do prefer colour realism as opposed to black and grey, but I can do both, so. Working in the tattoo industry is hard. <laughs> um, I think people still have this like view that it's some rock and roll cool job you're gonna do, and it's really not. <laughs> I am very self-critical because there's so many amazing artists out there. It's hard not to be self-critical. Um, so it's a very high pressure job, especially, you know, you're tattooing people for life. You're marking people's bodies forever. And then you're exposing that work online for everyone to look at, everyone to judge, everyone to share. Um, so on the flip side of it, like it is a lot of pressure and you need to kind of be tough enough to handle that. Um, and it can take a bit of time getting used to as well, getting used to the pressure. It only took me about a year, which is very short for most people. It's so competitive nowadays. Now it has a lot of interest in it. You now need to bring as much skills to the table already. It helps if you have a background in art. It helps if you've had managerial experience. It helps if you've had general work experience. Um, the more you know, the better. And as time goes on, it's gonna get harder and harder to stand out. It was quite hard, like it took me I would say three years in total before you know I finally got my apprenticeship here. Um, it's such a, it's a difficult one because there's not very much information on the industry, how to start in it, um, you know, so I only really seriously thought about it as a career. I'd always kind of thought about doing it but you know it's a hard, it is a hard process so if there's a position or if not a lot of folk will just bring a portfolio to the studio and ask would you take me on pester places even if they're not blooming looking you just got a pester you got an email you gotta go in and be like hi it's me again <laughs> like look at my work please i want to do this like you just you need to really show your commitment how much you want it because i think a lot of people in the industry these days they think it's a cool job they just think it, yeah it's cool it's fun but it's really, really hard. It's actually much harder than I ever imagined as well. Getting accepted for an apprenticeship is usually hard for folk. Um, I tried for a good amount of years. When I first started trying, my portfolio was not the best. I did get an offer for an apprenticeship. I, it didn't really turn out that well. So it was two years after, I want to say it's two years after that that I got this apprenticeship. I think there's still a belief that tattooing is done in dark basements and not this beautiful artistic and creative job where people can produce masterpieces on people's skin and it's it, it's not nice not not getting recognition but maybe people just not appreciating the amount of work and effort that goes into it um, I almost get embarrassed, like, not, not embarrassed because I'm really proud of my job and I'm proud of where I've got. Um, it's more, I'm, di I'm dreading the response I'm going to get because a lot of people just don't. It's not like you're saying, oh, I'm a doctor, I save lives. And they're like, oh, that's so noble, that's so great. You say, I'm a tattoo artist and they're like, all right. <laughs> that's all you get, it's just a, all right, how's that? Like, nobody knows what to say. Um, I think there's still this, like, stigma of it being, like, a pure criminal, dodgy, like underground scene um, when really it's like a thriving kind of creative community with a lot of self-employed people all over the world now, you know, um, it's a very valid career. There's, there's so much to know, there's so much that can go wrong and especially when you're handling blood, I cannot express enough how dangerous it is and if somebody isn't aware, people can get really, really hurt. Um, tattoos, requires so much skill and if you're not doing it right you can cause permanent damage, scarring and you can leave somebody with something that they really really hate when they should absolutely love it and the only way to avoid that is proper training in the right environment by people that have also received the same amount of training. It needs to be treated like the professional job it is and not a hobby, not a trend, an actual job. You work your ass off to be self-employed in the creative industry, blah blah blah, but then you can't get on finance, like you can't get this, that and the next thing, you can't get a mortgage because no one believes you that you earn enough when you know you do. Um, so that's one thing and that again that kind of comes back to the are you respected in this industry, like 
are, are you respected as an artist? But I think it's the same as anyone that's self-employed. Like, if you don't work for the man, you know, they don't trust you. <laughs> and um, it's much harder to get normal things in life, such as things on finance or a mortgage. Stick it to the man. <laughs>